Alright, so really where it starts is bringing toys to life. So all you have to do to bring a toy to life is take them off the portal, um, place them down, so me and my characters. They're going to come to life. So that, that's cool, the toys come to life, but really where it kind of shines is that beyond the toys coming to life is that, is that the toys actually have brains as well. So as I come through here, we're playing with Trigger Happy right now. He's one of our tech characters. If I collect loot, so just break that destructible, it actually saves my character. Um, so anything that I do, anything that I do that's going to earn me experience, any combat stuff that I'm going to do, that's all going to save to the physical toy. Um, there's also eight unique elements. So Trigger Happy is a tech character. So there's also areas based on the character that you have that you can explore and access. So Trigger Happy will come over here and pop open. And I can still switch characters at any time, so play with Trigger Happy. Take him off. Flame Slayer. It's obviously a fire character being that he's Flame Slayer. Skip that. So I start off with just basic arrow attacks. So all he starts out with is just a single arrow, but then you get the flame feet. I like to call them back to the future feet. We'll take guys out that way. He's also got a lob arrow attacks, which you can use. An upgrade where if you run in a circle around someone, oh, I miss it. So everything that I'm doing right now, I'm collecting experience, XP, that's all being saved to my character. So I'm going to show you just for debug purposes, but I'll show you the upgrades. So I have already have a couple of his upgrades, but I can continue to purchase different upgrades. There's two upgrade paths for a character. Oh, did I just grab it? I should have. Oh, there you go. That's what happens when you use debug. Uh, but so now he's got, obviously, he's got three arrows that he shoots. His flame feet go much further. So he's got a great ring. circle. Oh, I keep missing it. There we go. There we go. And then everything inside torches. Uh, and then his ranged attack also has way more arrows. And then everything will deal more damage, etc. So you start out as a level one character. So you can use the loot to purchase all your abilities and your upgrades. But then as you progress through, um, just by earning XP, you'll go from a level one to a level 10 character. And so at any time, you can also play with a friend as well. So I'm actually going to collect it half real quick. Accessories and stuff that you can find. They're super fun, like fez hats, buckets, whatever. Cowboy hat in this case. That actually give you buffs as well. But those all save to your toys. So as I keep, keep going, one of the other cool things is that at any time I'm going to ask my friend Ben, who works at Vicarious Visions, our 3DS developer, press A. And then you can also play co op at any time. So as we keep going this way, we work together to solve puzzles, combat, so all of our puzzle solving stuff starts off really basic, and as you keep going, we start adding more and more layers. Our core demographic is kind of kids, 6 to 12, it's really our sweet spot. We've seen it a lot with big kids, and it's still a whole lot of fun. And so Prison Break is his A attack, he shoots kind of crystal beams. You can summon crystals, and when he shoots them with his A, it actually refracts. But as you progress forward, you shoot way more crystals, so it'll bend, bend your beam way more ways, so you can take out way more dudes. So if he shoots his beam, so it'll refract. And then everything that I'm doing, so if I collect, so he actually just leveled up. He got enough XP to level up. So if I'm, I'm collecting loot or getting ex collecting experience balls, it's going to save to my toy, and vice versa, it's going to save to his toy. So he can come to my house, bring his toys, keep continue to level his characters up. So are these toys all sold like individually? No, like, the, separate... the game starts. So the starter pack is uh, 69.99, and that starts with a portal, three characters, trading cards, and software. And then individual toys, you can buy more toys in for as individuals for uh, $7.99. So the same price as like a, nor a normal toy, but they're playable in the game. And there's all kinds of different areas, different ways you can explore the game world. And then finally, 
final thing to show you really fast is we also have player versus player, so. <laughs> Is that because you're not working still? Yeah, yeah, there you go. So we can go to battle mode. So, take prison break. So all the leveling up and all that stuff, it's great. It helps you in the single player game, but where it really shines is in player versus player. So I just put a character, place a character down for him. He's already got a hat. And so all those upgrades, so he's a level 2 versus a level 3, but it depends on how many upgrades we have. But it gives you reasons to want to go back and continue to level your guys up. Oh, I gotta run. That's a good one. slow me way down. You see that he throws trees all over me? Oh, you the <laughs> Run! Prison break! So having faster characters, there's also magic items you can collect. A photo finish. So I got the rejuvenation potion earlier. Oh no! Damn it. I lost. So there's lots of reasons to go back and replay. It's kind of like a really fun kind of brawling player versus player stuff. And then with all the different abilities, you have reasons to keep going back and level your guys up. And then the last thing, I'll hand this demo off to Ben, who's going to show you some of the magic. So if you remember with some Smash that he was just playing with, he was wearing the Fez hat. So we also have 3DS. So yeah, this is the 3DS version of the game, and Vicarious Visions is the developer, and when we took this project on, we actually said it'd be really cool to make a game that was tailored to the platform. And so, the 3DS has an infrared receiver, so we can actually do the stuff with the toys wirelessly, and give the kids a, ca a spell to cast with their partner Wendell here. So we talk to him, and we have instant swap between the characters, so as soon as I do that, tosses a little crystal where the characters are, uh, are held, and then I can take the stump smash that we just used in the game before, put it on the portal, aim it, and then it pulls it in over the air, complete with the hat that he had on in the other game. And the level. And ability. the experience. Everything about that character comes over this entirely new game, entirely new platform. And it's going to give kids a new way to adventure in this game, uh, see their characters do different things in this game. It's more of a jumping game, uh, platforming style. Uh, so, yeah, every every way that the franchise has expanded is tailored to the platform that it's on, be it the web world or the iPhone, iPad. So the character is the thing that ties it together, and as the collection grows, they see the kids can see how the character has grown in different contexts. So it really gives them like a, a cool way to, to really get into it. So all the consoles, PC, and mobile. What's that? All the consoles, PC, and mobile? Yeah. Hey, Xbox 360, PS3, Wii, PC, Mac, uh, and, uh, I, yes, so. iPhone, Android, 3DS. Right, right. And then the other, so not only does he come to life, but if he gains experience and stuff with that character there, he can then transfer the data back. Yeah, so you can see it's kind of a different game. It's a little bit, uh, you know, more over the shoulder, a lot, a lot more jumping challenges. It's like Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, it's like Crash Bandicoot. We have instant switch between the two characters, so they're stored in the bottom screen. And that gives you this new dynamic. You can actually switch mid-jump and switch mid-combo, do some kind of interesting things to make the characters work together. So we got these platforming challenges. It's still holding the same aesthetic. The graphical power on the 3DS is really a step up from the DS. It really lets us do a lot of interesting stuff. 
course. I mean, I'd like to show it to you in 3D. It won't come across in the camera, but if you want to, you know, take a look there, it's definitely got a, a view in 3D that is, you know, a little better if you want to give it a go. Okay. So it's just push forward with the stick there, and then you got jump on the bottom one, and then attack Y. There you go. So break through that, then keep going. Anytime you want to switch characters, just tap on the bottom screen, just switch over to Stump Smash and it's bed. So this game has a new story that builds on the Skylanders universe, a new enemy, it's a different continent of the, of the Skylands called the Radiant Isles. And you know, really, it's a lot of value for kids to be getting new content, new adventures. Um, uh, that's not the good. So you gotta run, it's like a log roll. There you go. Radiance Crystal, our bad guy Hector gets angry whenever you collect one, and so he's going to chase you out of the level now. So there's a timer that's going to start up, and it's going to give you some urgency, a reason to make it to the end. And a lot of times when you play, you'll get to the end right as the clock's running down. It's really a good sense of drama. And what you'll find is that. Ah, uh, so now Dark Spyro, he died, so you're going to need to collect 30 of those vials in order to bring him back, and the rest of the time you're going to have to do Stump Smash. Unfortunately, Stump Smash, he, he isn't really the best jumper. <laughs> so if you can manage to collect two, three more Radiance, you can bring back Dark Spyro and have an easier time. <laughs> yeah, that's not working so well. You got the steam. Ah. <laughs> oh, get ah. Try smashing that barrel there. Maybe you'll get some radiance and be able to bring back Dark Spiral. Oh, that was just hell. Every time you get one of those rockets, you'll uh, hit Hector and stop the timer for a little bit. It'll give you more time to get to the level. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you click on Dark Spyro now on the bottom, you can switch back. So it's the duck is the third. Ah! Oh, Night anyway. Notice on the right trigger you get a smart bomb that will kill everybody around you. 